the Suzu KB300 D-Tech double cab 4x4 LX Auto. Yes, it's a long name and it's a big name, but that's because this is a very, very big and you can see here, very capable vehicle. Kind of on a little bit of off-road just for the fun of it here today. And just to see what it can do, you can see, put it into four-wheel low, you've got diff lock, you've got everything you can possibly need and you can kind of ramp up a couple of rocks and a couple of bit of rough ground as well. Being a double cab bucky, of course, it's got the buck at the back covered by a nice tonio cover as well, which can take up to 750 kilos. So if you are into transporting people and goods, well, that's what they build these for. You're looking at a three liter four cylinder diesel engine, which puts out 130 kilowatts, which may not sound all that much to you, but 380 newton meters of torque and that's through a five-speed automatic gearbox. So it's certainly got pretty much most of what you want and what you can need, and there's no doubt about it. You'll see in a moment, this is really a big vehicle, but a very, very capable vehicle. We'll take a look inside. Are you ready? Behind the wheel of the Isuzu KB300 D-Tech double cab 4x4 LX Auto, which will set you back 536,900 Rand at current prices. Yes, it's a lot of money, but as you can see, it's a lot of vehicle. Behind the wheel, it's more like a car than a bucky or a truck. There is no question about that. The diesel engine, you can kind of hear it a little bit. Maybe a little bit noisy for a diesel by today's standards, but it's got that lugging and pulling power, so you don't mind that. If you take a look, you have a multifunction steering wheel, which has all the controls as always. It has a very good cruise control system as well, I must tell you, which really did work well and I tested it out on the open road. Then of course, down over here in the corner, you do have your button for the diff lock as well, which is another very useful feature it has and uh, you can use that when you're off-road of course. In the center of the dash you do have your com trip computer which has numerous functions and settings which you just scroll through by pressing at the end of the stalk over here and you can see how it works. You come across to the center con uh, console over here and you've got a nice touch screen over here, a nice good size touch screen and it's very much a multi-function touch screen over here. A bit strange I found that your navigation requires a micro SD card so it's not just a normal system like a lot of others work but that's the way it is on this vehicle lower down you see you come to your air conditioning and climate control very very good very useful very functional and then of course your five speed automatic gearbox this of course is a very crucial button over here and that is the switch from two wheel high to four wheel drive high and of course four wheel drive low mode which let me tell you certainly brings everything in and as I mentioned a moment ago you can bring in the diff lock as well if you want to. Lots of cup holders around, lots of little features and little touches that I think make a very big difference including a nice little useful extra when it opens. Storage area over here which is a rough as well so you can of course put your cell phone or something similar in there. People buy these because they need to carry passengers as well. That's why you buy a double cab. So let's take a look what life in the back seat would be like. Climbing into the back seat of the Isuzu, you can see there is lots of space, very adequate for three passengers in the back seat. And it certainly has the room for that. Lots of headroom as well, so more than adequate as well. And just generally, the thing that they have done with these is there's the sedan comfort up front with the loadability for the bucky at the back. If you want a small criticism on the vehicle with the leaf spring rear suspension, maybe when you get onto a piece of road that really is not in the best condition, it can be a little bit bumpy on the ride. But on a nice smooth piece of freeway, I have to compliment the ride that this vehicle gives. Been driving it for a week, done 700 odd kilometers in it and averaged about nine and a half liters per hundred kilometers for my time driving the vehicle. Which again, for a capability that this vehicle has, the size it has and what it is capable of, I think is a very, very fair figure involved. Looking for a double cab bucky, particularly a diesel one, you need to put this onto your shortlist before you make any final decisions.